Okay, so I drew out my YouTube name. Took a picture of these, loaded them into Photoshop. Now I'm just gonna take out the background and uh, basically, excuse me while I put Photoshop up real quick. I'm gonna take out the background of the white and then darken up the black and that's it. And then you'll see what I do next. Okay, so there's the first image with the NIL in black. There's a little white and stuff. That's okay. That's just going to enhance the image when I finish with it. But I can basically overlay that black with anything I want, an animation, an image, or anything. So I'm going to go online and find me something that looks like red, white, and blue, stars, stripes, you know, the flag, something like that. So be right back. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I got the NIL in black. I picked out the American flag image that is free online. Be careful you don't pick images that aren't free and then post them on YouTube, stuff like that. Not a big deal, but if you're making money on YouTube, which I'm not, uh, you can get, you know, demonetized. You won't make any money on your video just because of an image. But anyway, I'm going to uh, mask that image right there of the flag over my NIL. Let's see it. So we basically went from me having a big Sharpie pen Doing this, putting it in Photoshop, taking the background out, enhancing the, the black really dark, and then stick it in this little program. Put an image mask over the top of it, any image you want, any animation you want. And now I've got my own unique whatever font. So I can take that NIL font down there at the bottom, the NIL commission I already got down there, and it's gone. I'm going to replace it with my little logo here. Cool, huh? Anyway. I'll get to the actual video now. Just wanted to share that with you. Let's go. I don't like the 12 team playoff. It's not that I don't like the playoff. I don't like 12. 12 is my favorite number, by the way. I used it almost every jersey and every single sport that I played growing up. So I love the number 12, but not in a playoff system. So reason why is because I think the buy system is stupid. I think it's cool. I mean, it'd be fine if it was 12 playoffs if you put the best four teams up in the buys. But you're putting what you say is the power conference buys. There's really only two power conferences, and here's why. In the top 25, you have seven SEC teams, seven Big Ten teams, four Big 12 teams, three ACC teams, and then two of those, you know, non-power school. The Boise State at 21, UNLV at 25. But you can see SEC Big Ten is dominating the top 25, but there are big 12 teams and ACC teams in there, but let's just go over the top 12 and the top 12 only. And then I'm going to put it in a scenario of a bracket. I have it written down here. Try to follow along with me. It's going to be kind of hard. I think some of you will get what I'm saying, but here's why I don't like 12. I either want eight or 16. Pick one of the two. I don't care. 12 sucks. Here we go. Number one, SEC, two, SEC, three, Big Ten, four, SEC, five, SEC, six, Big Ten, seven, Big Ten, eight. We have one ACC team in there. Nine, SEC, 10, Big Ten, 11, Big Ten, 12, SEC. Hope I got that right. I wrote it down. Anyway, if it doesn't match right, you get what I'm saying, though. There's six SEC teams in the Big, er, big 12, the top 12. Five Big Ten teams in the top 12, and only one ACC team. LSU is at 13. And they're in the SEC, so they're, it's like seven out of the top 13. More than half are SEC. So you can say, oh, it's biased. Or you can say, well, the Big Ten and the SEC are clearly the most dominant and best conferences, which they are. But when you get to the playoff, you're going to have a, a USC or a Michigan or an Ole Miss or somebody that's dwindling out there in number 10, 11, 12 spot. That's not going to get in. How are you going to get, I mean, you might get four SEC teams in this year. And it, I think that's what should happen because there's probably four SEC teams that belong. But we'll probably only get three. So I'm not biased because Oklahoma just now joined the SEC. I'm just looking at it like it is. The Big Ten has a lot of teams up there as well. 
It's just, it's just, this just ain't right. So let's go over, you know, if, okay, let's put it this way. I want eight teams. That means the first round, you get one home game for the top four teams. You got 16, you get two home games for the top eight teams. Or, or you know, you know, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Or possibly if you lose your first game and you're the home game, you get one. Never mind. I'll shut up. But let's go over this uh, this bracket. I pretended that I made a bracket here, and you might disagree with it, but just we're hypothetically thinking here. So Alabama, number one seed, they get to buy. Ohio State, number two seed, they get to buy. Miami, ACC champions, they get to buy. And then BYU, I'm just picking them out of it. Iowa State, whatever. Utah, pick whichever one you want. They don't belong in the top four. Miami probably doesn't belong in the top four. I mean, ask Virginia Tech if they think they belong in the top four. So after that, I've got five, Texas. And we're going to go back to that five spot here in just a second. Six, I got Oregon. Seven, Tennessee. Eight, Georgia. Nine, Penn State. Ten, Missouri. Eleven, Michigan. And then I got Boise State in there. Okay, so let's just say this is the scenario here. Do you really think that USC, Ole Miss, LSU, Notre Dame, Michigan, which I got Michigan in there, sorry. Do you really think that they, BYU, Boise State are deserving? You know, something ain't right. That means Notre Dame, Clemson, LSU, Ole Miss, USC, the Big 12, the ACC. They're all on the outside looking in. Is that bias or is that just saying that the Big Ten and the SEC is, is where it's at? I think it's a little bit of both, but I think it's a little bit more on if SEC and the Big Ten are just dominant. They just are. This is going to be an issue. This is going to be a big issue. So 12 teams sucks. Go to eight teams. Go to 16 teams. You know, eight teams, you get the one game home. 16 teams, you possibly get two games at home. That's just my scenario that I would rather have. So that's my problem with the college playoff. Um, you know, everybody's like, well, I mean, it used to just be one game, and that was dumb. So we don't really know who won national championships back in the day. They were voted in. It was a very political thing. Even Oklahoma. Sorry, love Oklahoma, but maybe one of our national championships could have gone to somebody else. You never know. Split national championships. All that stuff's stupid. This is where we get... The real national champions. I talked about the five seed earlier, and I want to talk about that right now. Um, so in my scenario, I've got Texas in the five seed, predicting that Alabama won the conference. So anyway, just hypothetically, let's say Texas has the five seed. If Boise State got that 12 seed, that's the easiest game right there, and you get to play at home. That's what I want, even though I have to play an extra game. If I go into the next game, I got BYU or whoever the Big 12 champ is. So, like, it feels like that road is, even though you play an extra game, could be more beneficial. Doesn't seem like a legitimate tournament, does it? 12 teams is stupid. I said you'd meet the Big 12 as the four seed. I mean, it could be the ACC being the fourth seed. But you see what I'm saying is, you know, Texas is the fifth seed, and they're clearly better than BYU, Iowa State, or Utah, or any of the ACC teams, but they're going to be the fifth seed. I got Tennessee, Ohio. Let's just say my second round. I'll give it to you. Alabama versus Georgia. Ohio State versus Tennessee. Miami versus Oregon. Those all seem like primetime games, and at least right now in the scenario of what they're ranked and how we feel about the teams right now today, those look like really good games. But then you get to the Texas versus BYU. Now, I could be eating my words at the end of the season. I'm just going with the scenario of right now, if this were what was what it was. That 12-5-4-5 matchup down there on the corner of that bracket just does not look good. It looks, looks weak. It looks easy for Texas. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So anyway, I want your thoughts on this. Are we biased? Is the, the voting process, the AP poll, the coaches poll, is it all just wrong? I mean... This NIL, this this transfer portal, the 12 team playoff. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to accept all this stuff yet. That's why I'm making videos and I want your opinion as well. I'm out of here. See you guys. Whoop.